That was Norwich-based singer-songwriter Christian Laveau with a self-penned song entitled I Loved You, But You Left Me. <laughs> uh, apparently he can't get a record deal. There's no justice, Christian. Laveau. <laughs> well, it's the bank holiday weekend. A terrible time for the lonely, which I think Christian testifies to on his second track. Yes, lonely, because you left me. <laughs> Tonight, we're think about which celebrity you would like to spend a bank holiday with and what would you do? Uh, Sue from Paston says she'd like to sit down with some hot pot and red cabbage and watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with Sting. And uh, <laughs> T. Gladden uh, emails to say he'd like to clear out the attic with the lovely Kate Winslet. OK. Uh, on the line we have, if I'm not mistaken, Roy from Case to St Edmunds. Roy, hello. Hello. It's bank holiday. What you doing? Who's with ya? I'd like to go round Legoland with Sean Connery, and then afterwards we'd go for a lovely lamb lunch in the centre of Windsor. <laughs> Gotta say, Roy, I don't think that's Connery's cup of tea. I think Sean would rather do something like wander around the Wildfowl Park in Pepperstock with a boy scotch. <laughs> I don't agree. He'd go to Legoland. Boy. Oh. <laughs> was Roxanne by the police, or as they're now known, Sting. <laughs> a song there about a prostitute. Doesn't say what her surname is. Uh, must give her a call sometime. Uh, although the effects of 23 years on the game would not render her pleasurable to my eye. Alan's <laughs> 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 funny stories. <laughs> uh, just have a one quick funny story before the news. On line four, we have Roy from Bungie. Hello, Roy. Hello. Funny story, what is it? I sold this Makita cordless power drill in the local paper, and then six months later, I received the very same one back as a Christmas present from my brother in law, <laughs> minus the power pack. I see. So you, uh, you, you, the present you gave away, you then got back? Yeah, that's it. Good boy. <laughs> What a funny story. Alan's <laughs> funny stories. That was a funny story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wonder who got the power pack. <laughs> News. Traffic. We've got a traffic report. We've got a... I'm just going to get rid of that. It's annoying. On the A146, just past London, a lorry filled with livestock has jackknifed, shedding its load over both lanes. I know what that looks like. Probably looks like something from Saving Private Ryan. That was oh, truly dearly. amazing, Jim. <laughs> We're still pulling ourselves together <laughs> after a visit from the unforgettable Lester Price, <laughs> who's <Chaos>. had a <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid to say it's time oh. for us to hand over to our old friend Alan Partridge. He's here with Norfolk Knights. Are you ready, Alan? Yes, good night. <laughs> good night, Alan. Good night. Good night. Then there's a bit of sisters there. Tonight we're talking about death. Wivenhoe. Flitwick. Tiptree. Holbeach. Pinchbeck. Tarrington St. Clement. Thetford Forest. It's 10 pm. This is Norfolk Nights with Alan Partridge. How would you like to be disposed of when you're dead? We're taking letters and emails on that tonight, uh, starting with a, a letter from Mike, who's 24. He'd like to be buried in a large satin-lined coffin with a couple of page three stunners. Uh, they're alive, he says. I'm not reading that, sir. Um, well, another letter here from Susan from Spixworth. Uh, she said she'd like her ashes to be scattered in a nice field or meadow. That's the kind of thing we want. Sorry. Uh, we're also taking emails uh, on the big question, what happens after we die? Uh, Frederick emails to say he has four children, he is the proud father of a new baby boy, Joshua, and his daughter, Susan, five, has just started school, and he thinks that after death, there is nothing. OK. Well, I enjoyed The Hobbit more than Riverdance. 
And I think lots of boys on an island killing a fat boy is not so enjoyable as Gandalf with a long white beard. OK, if you've just joined us, we're talking about who is the best lord. Lord of the Rings, of the Dance or of the Flies. That's tonight's Hot Topic. Hot Topic. OK, the votes are closed and clearly the Rings and the Flies have been roundly trounced by the quick feet of blouse-wearing tycoon Michael Flatley. <laughs> Flatley, my dear, I don't river dance. Give it down. It's 11 p.m. Time for Alan's Love Asylum. Alan's Love Asylum. <laughs> that was the cause. Three little birds I think we'd all like to uh, prey upon. Perhaps steal their eggs. Uh, Anyway, I'm off now. Time to leave you in the very capable hands of Dave Clifton, who's going to be with you till 4 a.m. with his nightclub. What's you got lined up for us, Dave? Actually, it's ladies' night tonight. Special night. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe a wet t-shirt competition? Ooh, you never know. Could be, could be. <laughs> How does that work on radio? <laughs> You're going to use your imagination, Alan, actually. And uh, I tell you what, there's uh, rather a lot of ladies in here tonight. <laughs> Oh, oh, steady, girl, steady. <laughs> oh, I'm all wet. <laughs> I can hear him, I can't see him. Yeah, that's because you're not an man. Oh. I'm off for a mushroom slice at a BP garage. Oh, get me one, chum. Yeah. All right, OK, let's...